Hi, thanks for watching. Um, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to curve text around an image. Um, it's not like word art and uh, <clears throat> things like that where you can actually have that option to um, have your text go in a curve. Um, I wish it was. That would be really nice. Um, hopefully they come out with an update where that can happen soon, but for now we're going to have to do it this way. Um, so first you're going to want to upload your image of uh, what you're going to want to use in the middle. And then you're going to insert a circle. And let's bring that circle backwards behind here so we can see things. And just kind of make it however big you want it, somewhat in the middle. <clears throat> I want to bring it down a little bit. I'm not sure if I'm going to have text on the bottom or just the top. Um, that looks good for now. So then we're going to add some text. And my friend just had a baby and she named her baby Major. So I'm going to use the words Major Cutie. Just thought that was cute. I'm um, going to change the text. Um, I don't have Cricut Access right now, which is the option to get um, all these different texts in here with the A next to it. But I'm thinking about, per I did have it, I'm thinking about purchasing it again. Um, it's a month to month subscrip subscription. I think it's like $7.99 to get it. But there are a lot of other fonts in the system that you can use that aren't, that don't cost money. So I'm just going to find one in here that I like. This one usually seems to be pretty good. Yeah, I think that looks good. So you're going to go back to layers and you're going to ungroup the letters so they're all individual so you can kind of move them around. So yeah, you basically just probably gonna have to end up making this a little bit bigger. <clears throat> but you're basically just gonna take each individual letter and move it to where you want it. I'm not doing a perfect job here. I'm gonna come back and fix it after the video, but I just kind of wanted to show you. Um, how this is done. I guess we really don't need to move or rotate the O <laughs> since it's a circle all the way around. <clears throat> and we're going to take C and start turning it this way a little bit. I'm trying to think of what text I can write underneath it. I might add something. This friend is pretty natural and she had her baby at home. So I'm thinking about adding something like that, like home birth, major cutie born at home, or you know, something like that. I'm gonna have to move I'm gonna have to edit these a little bit. I want to make it even with where the M starts on the other side. You can usually use your toggle grid um, so you can see, so you can line them up easier. I think the E is a little bit smaller than the rest. And I think that looks pretty good. I can always make some adjustments later. Um, so then you can group them back together by just taking each letter oopsies darn it I 
and clicked for some reason. So I'm going to take each letter and once I have all these grouped back together I can move the whole major cutie text around um, to make it bigger or smaller or to make it fit with the other design I have on the page if that makes sense okay so then we're gonna wanna click attach and there you have it it's all grouped together now and go down to the circle and then you can hide the circle so then it's wrapped around it without you know looking like it's obviously wrapped around um, so you can unhide the circle do the same thing on the bottom if you want and that's about it